Hi betting experts, on Monday the 28th of December, we're off to Catrick on Monday with Fontwell abandoned. We head to Yorkshire, the ground soft, heavy in places, loads of weather around. It's going to be really gruelling conditions. We start off with our value angle selection in the opening 11.50. This is the Sky Bet most popular bookmaker conditional jockeys handicap chase. Two mile three, class five, four year olds and upwards. Just under three grand on offer to the winner. And I think this is a good opportunity for the top weight don't need to know to get off the mark over fences at the fifth attempt now he was a maiden hurdler who showed promise in some reasonable races notably when behind mrs hyde at perth quite eye-catching there last summer started off over fences four runs so far a really promising start at kelso on the 24th of october when second behind chanting hill jumping soundly sticking on strongly on the long run in there and appreciating the decent ground then went to newcastle bit disappointing there getting tired um, from three out behind the wide margin winner epson days mott who routed the field i still thought that was a fair run an early departure at air and then disappointing last time at hex i mean really bad ground getting very tired but you can always forgive one bad run at that track in my opinion it's desperately testing there they just stop quickly when they've had enough You're back on a flatter track here the same claimer up william shanahan has been these three pounds down the weights i think a positive ride is on the cards here because this one does stay three miles particularly well so back to two mile four i think if he can lead on his own he'll take an awful lot of catching for our nap of the day, we go to the 1220. This is the Skybet Extra Places Everyday Maiden Hurdle. Two mile three, class four, three year olds and upwards. £3,769 and off to the winner. And I really like the claims here of Brian Ellison's Gold Miner. Now, the positives Ellison's hit top form in the last couple of weeks. Three winners from 24 runners, all going well. And this one, who was a winning pointer in the past, made a really good start at Leicester when second behind Midnight River. Now, he was sent off 33 to 1 that day, but there was no fluke about it. The winner's graded class of Dan Skelton's and had to pull out all the stops to see off Goldmine, who travelled really strongly under Sam Twist and Davis. 13 lengths clear of the rest. It was a really good effort, and I think he'll take advantage of this dropping class and get off the mark at the second time of asking. Best of luck on Monday, betting experts.